if there's one thing that we all have in equal proportion whether you are rich or poor or middle class it's time we all have 24 hours in a day and how you start your day will affect how your day ends and how your day ends will ultimately affect how your week ends and how your week ends will affect how your month and your entire year ends this transparent cup represents our time our 24 hours and then the, the white stones represent the core activities while the sand represents all the other activities so let's say that you start by pouring the sand or the soil inside first all of it first and then secondly you decide now that you are going to do the core activities which is represented by the white stones if you try to pour all the white stones inside you can see that the container the transparent container will not be able to close meaning that you have to leave out certain things so now you have to drop certain stones and those stones are core stones so it might mean that now you don't have enough time time to prepare for your studies or you don't have enough time for personal development or enough time for sleep because of how you started with your activities in the day but here is the second example let's say that you begin with your core task which is the white stones and then thereafter you put in the soil you can see that everything fits in perfectly you can still be able to close your container but you can see that the proportions for both the first example and same and second example they were both the same but because of how you start it affects how you end so when you start with your core activities it means that you have sufficient time to even fit in all the other activities meaning that by the end of the day you would have completed all the tasks that you need to complete in order to live a balanced successful life so on today's video, I'm going to discuss the 20 habits that have helped me to save more than 20 hours in a week. So hi guys, my name is Sharon and if you happen to like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also to subscribe to the channel as well as to leave your comments. So the first habit is to prioritize your tasks. So it's important to start with the high priority task so that you don't spend an amount of time on tasks that are not as important. Number two, it's important to plan your day as well as your week. Plan the deliverables for the week. What do you want to achieve in the week? And then also plan your day. So plan your day the night before or plan your day in the morning. Plan that between this time and this time, this is what I want to be doing because it's so easy for the mind to wander around if it doesn't have a plan, if it can't stick to a plan. Number three, it's important to optimize your commute time. So maybe if you are uh, commuting, you can commute, but also be reading that uh, book or be listening to that um, podcast so that you don't have to listen to it now when you are at home. And sometimes also what I do is when I'm driving, that's when I will also be on the phone. That's when I call certain people so that when I am doing my work, I don't get disturbed. Number four, it's important to rest. It's important to get sufficient sleep because I've noticed that if I don't get proper rest, the following day I'm going to feel so tired and then I won't give it my best. I will always be feeling so tired. But when I get proper rest, I'm able to function efficiently and effectively. Number five, it's important to limit distractions. So sometimes it might need mean that you have to turn off certain notifications. Sometimes I get a lot of notifications from TikTok and Instagram when people are liking my, my posts. So I choose to turn it off so that I don't get distracted. And you might also want to set certain times for checking your emails. Maybe you allocate maybe twice a day or once a day just towards checking your email so that you are not distracted number six time blocking so time blocking means that you are going to be setting aside time to do a particular task just 
one task and not be multitasking until maybe that task is complete number seven set time limits so it's important to set a time limit to an activity because sometimes it can be so easy to get carried away so when you are doing your plan plan that for this activity you'll only allocate 45 minutes or only allocate 20 minutes only allocate 20 minutes to checking your emails or 20 minutes or 10 minutes to checking your social media because it's easy to get carried away and then forget about the core function number eight batch similar activities because this improves your efficiency so that your mind is not always switching over so for instance when i'm recording my videos i choose that i first do my research first for a couple of videos and then after that i record uh the videos in a batch and then that's when i do the editing unlike switching over number nine it's important to practice saying no sometimes people might have requests or give you a additional work so it's important to practice saying no if it doesn't align with your priorities at that particular time or negotiate for another time to be delivering on that particular task number 10 delegate the task so if there's someone who can do the task efficiently while it frees up your time so that you can take up crucial tasks that is what you need to be doing 11 simplify your clothing so the other day i bought like five of the same pairs of socks like it just simplifies time for me to look around for for certain socks or you buy the same color t-shirts or the same clothes that look similar so that really simplifies your time so you don't have to spend a lot of time looking for matching outfit or matching color coordinations it does save you time number 12 opt for hairstyles that are easier to maintain i've noticed that when i've plated my hair it saves me time in the morning because all i need to be doing is just to be brushing my hair but for a hairstyle like this one it's really time consuming so that's why i really need to get my hair plated as soon as possible number 13 plan your meal sometimes we spend a lot of time thinking about what are we going to be cooking or thinking about what are we going to be ordering so if you can plan your meals the night before it's going to be saving you so much time number 14 limit social media it's so easy to be carried away when it comes to social media it's like i've noticed that one minute of exercising feels like 10 minutes while 10 minutes on social media feels like only 30 seconds so it's important to be limiting the amount of time that you are spending on social media number 15 it's important to set deadlines because when you do set deadlines now you become accountable so set that deadline that you want to be accomplishing this task or completing this particular activity by a certain date because that's going to influence or affect how you plan your day and how you work around your things and how you work around your goals number 16 stick to the plan so it's important to stick to the plan and not be influenced by emotions yes sometimes maybe you might go through a heartbreak or sometimes someone might make you angry but if you already have a plan set out you have to follow your plan and not follow what you are feeling at that particular time you'll deal with it when it is sleep time maybe 17 automate the task so whatever that can be automated especially if it is a repetitive task like uh, maybe the payments that you are making or maybe when your planner is similar you can just roll it over using certain apps it's quite easy these days to be automating things automating your social media automating your email so whatever you can automate just automate it it's going to save you a lot of time number 18 write a list of items that you need from the shops before even going to the shops because sometimes when you get to the shop the mind can focus on certain things that were not crucial and then you forget about those crucial things so it helps you not wander around when you do have a list number 19 buy online it saves time like these days it saves me so much time when i just order my food online because delivery is quite cheaper it also saves me time of having to prepare myself putting on makeup doing my hair dressing up it just saves me so much time because i'm able to focus on the high priority task rather than doing grocery shopping 20 
don't overthink it don't worry so matthew 6 34 says so don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries today's trouble is enough for today and luke 12 verse 25 it says can all your worries add a single moment to your life and if worry can't accomplish a little thing like that what's the use of worrying over bigger things so it's important not to worry and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also to leave your comments in terms of which habits have you adopted which are saving you so much time stay blessed